Hello everyone and welcome to Overexposed, the BWRM podcast where we delve into the ins and outs of running a real estate, photography and videography business. My name's Dave Temple and you can now watch the podcast on YouTube at BWRM underscore official or listen on your favourite podcast platform. This time we're chatting to two of our members who recently shot houses that excited them, Janine Ward from Mornington Peninsula in Victoria and Melissa Douglas from Canberra Central. Hey both and welcome. Hi. Thank you. Hello. Now, as before, if you're watching on YouTube, you'll be able to follow along with photos and video clips, but we'll try and keep things interesting and descriptive for our podcast listeners too. Um, Before we get into the houses that you've chosen to talk about, I want to talk about sort of an overview of the locations that that you guys are in. Um, So we'll start with Melissa. You're in Canberra Central, but just give us an idea of the kind of area and the kind of houses that you're uh, usually shooting in in, um, Canberra. Yeah, so Canberra Central, um, I mean, Canberra, for those of you that know Canberra or have been to Canberra, um, you can get across it in about 45 minutes. So um, really, my work takes me everywhere. I'm all over Canberra um, regularly. Um, So going all the way from the north, pretty much to the south most days, um, I get a really good spread. Houses, real variety. Canberra's an interesting city because um mr burley griffin designed it so and so he made sure that there was a lot of different architecture in different areas around canberra to keep it interesting um so i get to see a lot of really interesting different homes and then of course um new builds as well and would it be um sort of a variety of you said different architecture but is it also different sort of block sizes and things like that like towards the outside of most cities you get bigger blocks and semi-rural and things is that the same or yeah it is the same and then some of the really um the older more established suburbs of canberra their block sizes are still really big and lovely a lot of elevation particularly around the southern suburbs um we are an alpine area so we have a lot of a lot of hills um and they've got some absolutely amazing blocks um the suburb that I live in, which is Page, um, neighbours Hawker, it's a pretty old suburb as well. And so really big, long, deep blocks, um, a lot of them backing reserve as well, which is a big thing around Canberra. There's nature parks everywhere. Very nice. Sounds great. All right. And Janine, um, I'm going to pretend that I didn't live in the Mornington Peninsula for 10 years. Um, so tell me... <laughs> Tell me about the peninsula and the uh, the area and um, and the kind of houses that you uh, you regularly see. So the peninsula is a bit like um, the Italy of um, Melbourne, like it's where it comes around the bay. It's opposite to where Geelong is, and that. Yep. Um, it's kind of like a bit of a holiday zone, I suppose. The guys come from the city to spend weekends here, so the traffic gets mental. Yeah. But um, yeah, it's just got a real mixture of houses. Everywhere from our, our area is basically from Frankston all the way down to Portsea. It's quite, it's basically the whole of the peninsula. Um, so yeah, there's a real mixture there because probably as you know, Portsea is very um, upper class and um, big, massive houses and expensive. You know everything. <laughs> it's just great, but I wouldn't live there. But <laughs> yep. uh, and then yeah, it goes all the way down to small, basic starter entry level places. You know. And it's it's an interesting place as well in terms of the the sort of location. In the on the one side you've got the bay, and on the other side you've got the ocean. So there, there's a variety in in the way the houses are set up in that respect as well, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. And some it's nice. Sometimes you go and do a shoot, and you can see both both the bay and and the ocean beaches from you know the balcony. You know, it's really quite cool. Very nice. All right. And then um, specifically in regard to the houses you've chosen, um, give us an outline. Um, We'll start with, we'll carry on with you, Janine. You've chosen a house in um, Dramana to showcase. Give us an idea of of what we can expect in in Dramana and whereabouts the house is. Uh, Well, I mean, this one in particular is quite close to the freeway, actually. So, but because the house is really nice and special, I think that that would probably not matter. You know, you don't see any of that from where you are. So it's kind of, um probably i don't know half a kilometer from the beach and the beach there is really beautiful clear blue water and long piers and lovely little coffee shops and it's just a really nice nice little area very nice and um melissa give us uh, an idea what what was the um suburb of 
of your one? It's not actually Canberra Central, is it? Well, this is actually in Queanbeyan, so it's our um, it's technically New South Wales. Oh, okay. Um, so it bought it like it's it butts right up against Canberra. Canberra and Queanbeyan are sort of go hand in hand, but um, don't tell Canberra and don't tell <laughs> Queanbeyan people that. Um, it's kind of, yeah. Anyway, um, so it's in Queanbeyan, which I do um, work there. So from from me, it's a thirty minute. Like I said, you can get across our area pretty quickly. Um, so it's on uh, one of their streets um, that is pretty well known. Um, it is a quiet street, but it's in a really lovely part of the area of Queanbeyan. And it had been a whole um, complete Renault um, owner builder, um, beautiful transformation. And what what could I expect from Queanbeyan in, in general? Like what what um, what type of suburb is it? Uh, so Queanbeyan's a well, it's actually a city, so it's not a suburb. Okay. It's an area into itself. Um, so it has everything there. It has its own schools, um, all its own shopping centres, um, its own industry. Um, it is um, it's it's pretty decent size. Like it's thirty thirty five thousand people um, just in Queanbeyan itself. So everything you need, you wouldn't, if you bought in Queanbeyan, there's, you don't have to come to Canberra. You've got everything you need in Queanbeyan. Um, but yeah, the crossover happens all the time because we're like right there. Is there an obvious um, sort of difference in, in, you know, if you're in Queanbeyan, can you see a difference to being in Canberra in terms of the architecture and things like that? Or hundred percent. It's yeah, you really can. And I find it quite interesting because it is really different. The Queanbeyan um, homes, and then there's another area just a little bit further on from Queanbeyan called Jerobombra, and those homes are very distinct. Um, the architecture out there, a lot of angles, um, that real um, palace-style home, um, like 1990s kind of vibe, um, a lot of that sort of home in Jerobombra. Queanbeyan is more cottage, I, I, I find, which is what probably I love so much about this particular property, um, is it's kept some of that original feel of the architecture in Queanbeyan, but then just elevated it to a whole new, gorgeous, renovated level. So, yeah. Yeah, awesome. I would say cottage is cottage, cottage freestanding, single level homes seems to feel quite Queanbeyan. Yeah. And with um, with Dramana, Janine, I remember that there's there's a real mix of older and newer homes down there as well, isn't there? I think your one is is a Reno. Um, I think you said, but um... yeah, it's a real mix, definitely. Like um, some of the houses um, further back, or but a lot of them are actually just being taken taken over and knocked down and totally rebuilt again. You know? So yeah. the one that I've I've sort of I really liked was built in 1955 so it's, it's wow. got a history to it you know so i like yeah. it very nice okay and then um in terms of first impressions what, what was your first impression of the house when you arrived was it an immediate oh my god this one's going to be good or was it something while you're wandering around that sort of struck you what what was uh, what was it that got you well when you pull up outside this house actually you, it doesn't look like much from the outside. It's just got a big gate at the front and um, it's got a little, you know, name back up there. I think it's called Serenity or something, you know. And, uh, it just when you go through the gates, I just thought it just, it's it's sort of set far back at the back of the block, but um, you kind of walk up through these like lovely birch trees up to the front and it's it's just, um, I don't know, I just, I just get a real nice uh, country vibe about it when you get there. It's almost like a colonial type federation sort of build. I don't know, it's just, it was the old um, Dramana Tennis Club. So it's okay. got all that history about it. And, but it has been fully renovated, but they've also kept like heaps of the old, like little quirks about the place, you know, which I really loved. It kind of looks like um, from the, from the pictures, it kind of looks like it's it's hidden at the front, and you walk in to where that courtyard and the and the pool area is. Is that is that right? Yeah. So it's basically built around the pool area. So once you pass the garages and that, and you walk up, it just goes up a little beautiful path up the stairs to this wraparound balcony that goes around the pool, and and it's sort of built like built in an L shape around the entertaining area and looking down upon it. 
So it um, just feels like you could sit there on that lovely balcony <laughs> looking out <laughs> at the sunset <laughs> and having a, a wine or two over the pool. You know, it's just, I, I just really liked, um, it had a good feel about it. And usually in old houses, I don't actually get a good feel. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. creep sometimes come on in but not on this one i don't know it just had just been renovated really beautifully and styled and just nice, nice home. yeah look, looks great and um how about you melissa did you know straight away or or did it take a while to get in there and have a look i did um yeah and for those um watching and listening if you see the images um this this one is like the moment you look at the front you know um what my probably my first impression is it's idyllic right like it's got the white picket fence the perfect manicured lawn um you know the peaked roof all that kind of stuff it, it just and it was perfect for a twilight shoot um which is how i've captured it i really like the front door as well by the way the front door is gorgeous yeah. so they've kept that cottage feel um but the moment i pulled up and knew that was the house you just go oh yeah this is going to be yeah. this is going to the front is going to match what is going to come yeah. <laughs> but i like the surprise ones like janine i like the facade that is unassuming and then you walk in and go oh my god um which is another one of my favorite homes in ettrick street but um yeah this um this one from the front the moment you pull up you just you get a really good sense of what's behind those doors yeah i i really like the uh the approach to that like you said it just looks like it's manicured and tidy and it's got the three peaked roofs um and uh all the lights out the front there it, it looks like it's going to be good before you get in there doesn't it yeah it really did and like you said like the front door detail with the glass and that beautiful contrast color um all the gables like the paint they'd chosen it just it kept that feel of um an older style of home but just done in a very modern way and i like janine i love the older homes generally um but this one i don't know just had the best of both worlds and and then when you get in through the hallway and walking straight down to that living room um you walk into this massive um almost it almost feels like a barn you know like um there's they're littered with skylights um the amazing stone fireplace which was like 50 grand alone um the owner was telling me it's all pre-stacked with wood like visually the textures um it, it just it was just beautiful everywhere you looked it was like oh this has been done really really well and thoughtfully yeah i was going to say we'll go on to the details really so um were there any particular standout rooms either from a video and and photography point of view or from just sort of imagining yourself um moving in were there were there any standout uh, rooms or features or or anything that just just sold it to you i think the living space for me in that one um particularly with the skylights and the fireplace I love the fireplace and the wood stack. The fireplace is so beautiful. Yeah. It's so beautiful. It goes all the way to the ceiling and it's actually flued directly to the main bedroom, which is all the way at the front of the house. So you get that beautiful fire warmth in the main bedroom as well, which is pretty special, which is why it was so expensive. <laughs> it's um, it's one central one central living area that everything comes off of. Is that right? there were two living spaces um so that the the main one where the fireplace is with all the like the panelled sky um lights uh so that was living um flowed out to the deck and then dining and kitchen um what was cool about that area too is it has a secret cupboard that is a bar and you'll see that in the video <laughs> so we got the agent pouring a pouring a whiskey yeah. fun fact the whiskey was tea um <laughs> but it looked like whiskey. it did had me had me fooled <laughs> yeah exactly um but yeah there's this unassuming cupboard um that all looked really flush with all of the cabinetry and then you opened it up and there's a, a fully stocked bar in there which was really cool um but there was actually also a separate lounge retreat area as well also had skylights and that sort of became the kids corner because two bedrooms came off that so for livability, you sort of had the adult section and you had the kids section, and I really like that. Um, a locked door in between. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That um, that central room though with a high ceiling, and I really like the um, the kitchen as well. Actually, the kitchen's stunning. The kitchen is stunning. That bench top, um, the marble um, was just really beautiful, really unique as well. They would, but they had been very deliberate in what they chose for that. What is very cool is over the oven. Um, you'll see in the photos. So there is actually a tap. So there's a plum above the stovetop. There is a plum tap that swings back and forth. So when you're doing, you know, big pots that you need to fill, you don't have to go from the sink to the stove. Ah. So you can literally put your pot on the cooktop, flick the tap on, fill your water, good to go. I've never seen that before. I've never seen it either. Um, yeah, the agent and the owner both showed me through that and I thought, wow, that's really clever. So a very beautiful renovation and very, very high quality. I really like the fact that it just looks, well, like you said, high quality, but it looks solid and well built and like the flooring looks stunning next to it. Yeah, it really was. I mean, even like fittings and fixtures in the bathrooms, the, the bathtub, all the brass and um, tapware, um, the whole outside deck area was kitted with a full bench top and you know sort of bar area for entertaining outside as well a little mini fridge all that kind of stuff but just like literally it's flawless throughout there was nothing there was nothing that i walked through and went oh, i wouldn't have done that I, like everything you look at you're like yeah this is just perfect amazing and it absolutely flew at auction um, yeah i can imagine so i watched that one and yeah um the living room was full of people and they had eight registered bidders they had four people bidding uh and i think it all got wrapped up within 10 minutes wow so. amazing yeah i mean the even the the outside area it's it's not huge it's not spectacular but it's just immaculate yep yeah, it is. It's just, it's simple. The backyard is definitely very, it's a very simple backyard. It's a very flat block, which is appealing for a lot of people. Um, low maintenance, nice deck, that's covered. Then you've got the green area and that's all there is to it. Um, but it's still perfect. Is that an outdoor kitchen out there as well? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Outdoor kitchen, bar fridge. Um, yeah. Built in, built in um, facilities out there too. Very nice. And um, how about you, Janine? What, what um, details stuck in your head while you were in there? Um, I mean, there were, like, as I say, because it was a historical building, they've got certain things in there that they've left there. So, like, the one, the one bedroom had all these old stamps that were inlaid into the wall, like, from, from the original clubhouse, you know, of oh, the wow. tennis. Um, so they kept all of that, and then they just sort of, you know, renovated around it and, I don't know the floors they're just they've got this beautiful blue mosaic tile in some of the rooms and the bathrooms and that and it's just i mean when you see, if i had to see that in in the tile shop when i'm renovating i would be like maybe not but when i see <laughs> it then, oh <laughs> wish i was braver wish i could that you know but it's it looks amazing it looks beautiful it just i don't know it just a lot of the way they've renovated is really fresh and and natural sort of tones colors and the floor is it's a real skill to keep character but renovate isn't it it's um yeah i i think i've seen this house before janine have i shot this house i think you might have shot this house i have a, i just have a <laughs> feeling that because when you were talking about the pool i'm sure i've shot this house but it wasn't renovated then. i was going to say it didn't look anything like this but i'm sure i've shot this house yes i think you might have that pool shot's beautiful, Janine. Are you, um, is that drone or are you just elevated? Did you just get yourself up on something? I'm standing at the, this one, looking down onto the pool in the little uh, pool hut. I'm just at the top of the Yeah, pool. nice. So it's basically the belt yeah. that wraps right Gorgeous. around there. It's got these vines that grow. Oh, you know, they're right. red in, in the photo right now, but you can just imagine when those are all out, you know, it's beautiful. But yeah, yeah that's just like, it's got a massive, um, like a hallway type thing that runs along the front of the, all the rooms come off of it. It's almost like. Oh, nice. I know exactly what you mean. Like an old inbuilt veranda kind of. Yeah, like an inbuilt veranda that goes out onto another big veranda, which is the actual veranda. And it just, um, you know, it just feels really spacious and they've got heaps of light fittings there. I mean, <laughs> look at those photos. 
I mean, everywhere you look, there's massive, I mean, massive light fittings all over the place, but it actually really works when you're in there. It's, it's nice. Well, the, the pergola out there by the swimming pool is really nice as well, isn't it? It just, like, the whole thing is self-contained. You feel like there's nobody around you at all. Definitely. Once you pass the driveway and you're into the actual part of the house, it's, it's all there. Like the, the, um, it's got this lovely rumpus room downstairs for the kids, you know, pool table and a bar when they're older. Um, <laughs> um, basically, all your friends when they come over. But it's just all, all self-contained. With a little, It's got a little bathroom there right off the pool that's all fully kitted out, a shower and all. So everything just happens there and it's just... It's just lovely. I mean, even the, um, I mean, the kitchen I loved. The kitchen's got the same tiles as my house. <laughs> oh, really? I, I don't know. I haven't seen them anywhere else be- except that. So um, The blue one? What's that, Mel? The blue ones, like the splashback tiles. I've got those in my kitchen, actually. Yeah. Home, so I love them. Kind of like that. Yeah, it just works all in there. So is that um, the two kitchen shots that you've got there, um, Janine, one of them, is it a, a pantry next to it or is there, are there, is there a kitchen and a kitchen? I can see one with a big kitchen and then there's the one with the tiles, the blue tiles. Uh, the one with the blue tiles is just like a little butler's pantry that comes off the back corner. If you look at the other photo, right in the back corner is the doorway. So gotcha. that leads into the, you know, a little coffee station and, and just a little basin and I think there might have been a fridge or something in there, but it's quite big and it's just laid out really well, you know, for a family, the house and the kitchen and all. And a big kitchen as well. It, it is a big kitchen and um, it's actually, I didn't have enough shots, as you can imagine, Dave, I took about <laughs> 200, yeah. <laughs> but the other angle of the kitchen is also lovely, you know, like looking towards the stove and all that too. But, um, yeah, it's it's just renovated amazingly um uh, look at the hallway i mean it's the it's got that beautiful porthole there with a lovely stone feature wall yes yes i was just looking at that image it is that yeah that porthole is just gorgeous because initially when you look at it you think oh it's a piece of artwork and then you're like oh it's not it's yeah Really cool. There's lots of little quirky features in there. So what's what's that on the back wall there, Janine? I've only got the images very small on my screen. Is that wallpaper or is that a stonework or something? Or oh, that's actual on? stonework. Yes, no, oh, is it? Yeah. It's actual. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, it's just um, just I think it might. Um, I don't know. Is it sandstone? It looks like sandstone. It looks like sandstone, but it's probably not original. Let's be fair. But it is lovely. It works well, and the plants everywhere. I just love plants. Mm. <laughs> so I love them everywhere. So, um, yeah, that was nice. What size block is it, just out of interest? Do you remember? Uh, it is uh, 1,312 square oh, so meters. That's a quarter of an acre as well. So you, are, you really are in a bit of space. Yeah, it was massive. So where, I think where the pool was, there, there was a tennis court there in the old days. Well, at least yeah. they got rid of it and made something useful. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, I mean, look at that outside sort of um, alfresco area. That's another outdoor living area as well, which is kind of at the back of the balcony as well. So, Is this the one that leads off from the dining area with the, the blue chairs? Is that yes. the one? Yes. So looking through the dining area, you can look through to it. It's got a little bar area where you can sit down and look over the pool. And it's also got like a built-in barbecue kitchen outdoor you know fridge everything it's just you can close up those shutters it's just like a little whole new outdoor room it's just got everything to be honest it's really nice i loved it very nice i think my favorite my favorite shot of the pool though is the one um that's at uh, golden hour oh yeah where you can see the oh and all the all the um beautiful autumn leaves that are still all wrapped around the veranda that's a beautiful shot, Janine. Well, it was nice to not have to use a drone. Like you got the elevator. Yeah. You can, I think my tripod was like leaning up. On it. <laughs> <laughs> it made it work. <laughs> yeah, 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 you did. I really like the shot looking up the stairs from the front, the square on shot with the pool on the left and the uh, plants on the right. That's really pretty. Yeah, that's gorgeous. It's an impressive um, little place. I mean, even just the outdoor 
little pool hut there. They just had this sort of swing mounted there. You could just sit there. You know, just so many little zones. Yeah. Just chill out, you know. Yeah. It's very nice. nice. All right. Well, look, last question um, is a bit of a cheeky one, but I'm going to put you on the spot. You uh, you obviously bought both these houses because you really like them. After talking about each other's houses for the last half an hour, are you going to keep the one you liked or are you going to swap for the other one? Uh, well, mm. I'm as a member, don't us. <laughs> oh, you, can, you, you, can, you can put it where you like. You... <laughs> I actually do love your house, Melissa, because it's it's just – quaint and beautiful and cute and I'm not really one who likes big fancy houses I would probably live in my van yeah. you know so it, yeah it's, it's I'll just pick that house because Dave told me to pick a house you know <laughs> <laughs> and I do love that house but I love yours too Mel I love yours <laughs> so I, I yours. yeah look they're both beautiful I um I'm gonna say I'm gonna keep mine because I am really drawn to flat level living. I like, I love when a, a really good design can all be on one level. And it's just, it, it, I don't know, it's just something about that one. I walked in and went, oh yeah, this is, because a lot of it to my taste is actually um, quite different to like one of the other ones I sent you through, which is all color and textures and crazy. And like, that's my thing. But I was really surprised at how much I did fall in love with this one because um, there is some very classic things about it. But um, then it's the fine detail in this one that I just found amazing. So I'm going to keep mine. Plus, I'm a sucker for winter. So, you yeah, know. I'm in, a, I'm in a really difficult position uh, choosing because um, I've already left Victoria, so I can't go back to Dramana. <laughs> And you do not want to come to camera. <laughs> I, I've time saying camera is too cold for me. Um, but to be honest with you, I think um, I would actually, this might surprise you, I'm a, I would actually choose the one in Canberra because if I'm going to be cold, I want to be cosy and it looks really cosy and really homely and I can lock the doors and stay warm. So I think I'm going to I'm yeah, camera one. Don't tell Aaron, but I'm going, I'm going for the camera one on this one. Okay. I picture you sitting there with all your cat at the fire, Dave. <laughs> exactly, exactly right shivering in a big hoodie and a, um, a rug or yeah. a blanket divine excellent divine. all right well look that's it for this episode um thanks so much to melissa and janine for sharing their shoots and um, we hope you enjoyed listening and we'd love you to subscribe on youtube spotify or apple podcasts and if you'd like to see more bwrm content please check the description for our other social links we'll see you next time